What's up guys? So I'm gonna give you an updated tour of our private kind of lab, our private headquarters in New Jersey, because ever since the original tour I gave you guys, Cameron Joss has moved back from Texas and we have been doing some more training here. And a lot of you guys see the things we have going on here and we've been getting a lot of questions about some of the equipment that we have been using because when you first look at this place, it's not big. It's only a thousand square feet, barely a thousand square feet, the gym portion of our headquarters. But there are a lot of hidden gems in this, what we refer to as our lab, that you don't really notice when you walk in, but they are high-tech pieces of equipment, things that are really helping us get to the next level with our athletes. And we've had professional athletes coming in here, NBA players, NFL players, WWE wrestlers, uh, Olympic athletes uh, come into this little facility and a lot of people want to know how, how we're doing it. So I'm going to just give you a quick little walkthrough. Uh, we have a little strip of turf. We don't do a lot of uh, obviously sprinting in here, but we do some heavy sled pushing in here and some resisted work. Also, we use this open area. We always like to have some open area for warming up and mobility. That's a big portion of our programming. Uh, jumping plays a large part in our programming, resisted jumps. We have foam plyo boxes we use. So you have a little bit of a cushion when you land to absorb the shock. So we use those a lot. Right here, you see we have our jump mat, which is not only great for accurately measuring vertical jump height and programming for the vertical jump, but you'll also see us use it for a lot of upper body activities. You'll see us doing various push-up variations and upper body exercises where we could measure the force production in our upper body. So it's not just always about lifting heavy, it's also about speed and power with athletes. So we use the jump mat for that. Speaking of speed and power, right over here we have a specialized piece of equipment many people may have never seen and that is the 1080 sprint. And what that allows us to do is perform resisted sprints or jumps, basically any horizontal movement um, you could think of. We can resist that movement, but also measure force, velocity, power in our athletes. We roll this thing outside and we could do sprints the entire length of the football field if we want. And then it measures that data and we could design programs specific for our athletes based on the data that this machine gives us. So this is real high tech, next level stuff, and it's been really helping our training a lot. Then we come over here, which is always a centerpiece of any gym that I've ever had, and that is basically a squat rack or a power rack. We always prefer the Elite FTS racks. This is one of their collegiate racks. Got the custom DeFranco's Training Systems logo on there. You'll always notice we got bands and chains hanging from the rack. Uh, we use those a lot for accommodating resistance, overloading the top portion of a lift. Uh, the bands obviously accelerate the eccentric portion of the lift, always looking to get our athletes more explosive. And those are two accessories that you'll find in all of our gyms. These racks will last you forever. Uh, we got the gymnastic rings, the jungle gym hanging from the top. Uh, right here, you will see a tendo unit that is hooked up over here. And this is another addition to our programming where the tendo unit measures the speed of a lift, the velocity. It measures speed in meters per second. So a lot of coaches make the mistake of just always trying to lift heavier. And they'll measure force, they'll take force into an account but they don't measure velocity. And if you're training athletes, the force velocity relationship is key. So the Tendo unit allows us to measure that bar speed and then program our athletes accordingly. We could have velocity based programming for any upper or lower body lift. So this is another great tool for enabling our athletes to not only just be strong, but have that optimal combination of strength and speed or force and velocity. You'll also notice this 
odd looking piece of equipment attached to our rack called the Iron Neck. And in our opinion, this is the most functional way to train the neck. It was invented by Mike Jolly. It's an amazing piece of equipment. Basically, it enables you to train your neck and strengthen your neck three-dimensionally. And if you look at the muscles that surround your neck, most of them are diagonal. They don't run in a perfectly linear fashion, so they do a lot of rotating and, and twisting of the neck. So you want to be able to strengthen your neck in that fashion. And with this iron neck, it allows us to not only get horizontal resistance, but also rotational resistance as well. So we could look to the left, look to the right, look diagonally, turn our heads in, in three dimensions, and really strengthen it in the most functional manner possible. And now studies have shown that strengthening your neck is one of the best ways to help reduce your chances of getting a concussion. So if you're a combat athlete, you should definitely be strengthening your neck, and this is the best way we know how. Then you find a whole bunch of different uh, specialty barbells. I won't go through them all, but we have fat bars, neutral handled barbells for athletes with shoulder issues, uh, a, a powerlifting log for some of our strongman training. We have tsunami bars, which is basically a flexible barbell that, that helps you recruit more muscle. Oh. Weight releasers, another amazing specialty tool. You won't find these at many gyms. Uh, shout out to Fat Grips for making these custom for us. These enable us to overload the eccentric portion of the lift. Most of us know we are stronger eccentrically compared to concentrically, but we're never able to reach our true strength potential because we're limited to the amount of weight we could put on a barbell to what we could actually press. But with these special pieces, we're able to overload the eccentric for example, I could, on a bench press, I could lower 450 pounds, have 100 pounds release at the bottom, and then raise 350 pounds, or whatever percentage we want to use. And that has really helped to improve our athletes' strength tremendously. Then, of course, I think every gym you need a full line of dumbbells. We have from 5 pounds all the way down to the big dogs, the 150s. Those will always be a staple in our athletes' training. Uh, we have a, a special cable unit that Elite FTS made for us. You see some specialty handles. This is a mag grip. We have many different handles and, and widths and thicknesses to our cable attachments. That's very important for well-rounded strength. Um, we have both the lat pull down and on the other side we have our low row versions we still do some cable work and over on our we have this little accessory rack where we have some hidden gems uh, this is the skin dex basically i feel for measuring body fat if you are going to use skin fold calipers this is the most accurate measurement for um body fat percentage then we have our be strong blood flow restriction cuffs in my opinion um, these are the the most comfortable and most well designed implements for performing blood flow restriction training we have been doing a lot more blood flow restriction training in our programming with our athletes we feel it is best incorporated in conjunction with all of our other training if you work with older athletes, athletes that are banged up, they've been injured, athletes that are in season, they are an amazing tool for basically getting the same benefit, the, the same strength and hypertrophy benefit of lifting heavy weights without having to lift heavy weights. With only 20 to 30% of your one rep max, you could get the same benefit as heavy strength training. This red case over here contains our Brower timing system and I would say 99% of the time when we're running sprints outside we are timing it with this system. It is fully electric, gives us a very accurate time and 
we've really wanted to eliminate human error in all of our testing and programming. So we've gotten away from handheld times and pretty much gone exclusively to fully electric times. So we know if an athlete gets faster using this timing system, we know they truly got faster. Those are real measurable results and that is why we switched over to the fully electronic timing. And then finally we round it out with, you see some foam rollers. We have a lot of different mobility implements. We have lacrosse balls, Jill Miller's gorgeous ball, and then also some kettlebells as well. Um, and we have every kettlebell from 15 pounds up to the big dog, the 124 pounder, leaving no stone unturned. We kind of consider ourselves the mixed martial arts of strength and conditioning. We don't believe in just one way of getting the job done. We borrow from all different methods and modalities and, and we treat each athlete as an individual and based on their evaluation, we're able to pick and choose and come up with the best possible program for them because we have access to so many different tools. So that is our headquarters in New Jersey, our private lab, if you will. So a lot of people were wondering what we had inside here. It is a private facility, but if you are interested in training, email jen at defrancostraining.com and hopefully we will see you here soon if you are serious.